Here with Paul Dick, assistant coach for the Steinbeck Pistons. Paul, coming up, uh, big, big game for you guys. Pink at the rink. It's going to be quite the atmosphere. Talk a bit about what the festivities and what's leading up to the game. Well, I think leading up to the game, it's uh, status quo. But, um, yeah, the guys are excited about it. Uh, it was uh, last year we did our first pink in the rink. And um, we wore pink jerseys. And this year they're going to be a little more elaborate and, and um have a much better design to them so uh yeah we're very excited about it i mean it's a great cause um our, our uh, guys are eager to participate and, and uh, got to thank safeway they uh sponsored all the jerseys for us this year so it's uh, uh great to have their support in it and hopefully we get a lot of people come out and and, and support the cause so um. what's the initial reaction uh when the guys get all the pink jerseys in the dressing room and they got to put them on from last year well, they were excited. I mean, uh, if you watch NFL football on Sundays, you, you see the guys with the pink shoes and pink towels, and um, and it's it's spread, you know, into all the sports now, and everyone's kind of supporting the cause. So, for them to to be a part of it, I mean, it's affected a lot of people too. I mean, a lot of the guys in our room have had family members that have been affected by cancer, so um, it hits home. And um, and I think for them to, to wear the pink jerseys, it's something that's been. Up until this point, uh, or, or um, at the professional level, so I think it makes them um, feel a little special as well, being able to participate. Would this be good timing after a loss you guys had against the Blues to kind of forget about hockey a little bit with the pink jerseys and uh, the night that's coming up? You know, that's a good point, Kevin. I, I think it is. You know, sometimes uh, uh, we have to put last night behind us, and, and uh, to be distracted by something isn't isn't the worst thing, and, and to have some fun with it. And, and um, come to the rink and have something to look forward to sometimes, you know. So we talked about that today. We still want to have a fun atmosphere despite, uh, despite a tough loss. I mean, you've got to love what you're doing. And, and um, um, I know tomorrow they have something to look forward to.